हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड आई टी गेट कोचिंग डोंट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड प्रेस दी बेल आइकन टू गेट दी इंस्टेंट नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ माई फ्री लेक्चर इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी प्रिफिक्स रिलेशनशिप सो वॉट इज प्रिफिक्स रिलेशनशिप सो फ्रॉम द नेम ओनली वी आर गोइंग टू सी दिफिक्स ओके सो ए सी दी प्रिफिक्स ऑफ टी ए सी इज ए स्ट्रिंग इट इज गोइंग टू बी ए प्रिफिक्स ऑफ टी इफ एन ओनली दिस मीन्स इफ एन ओनली such that there exists some x such that there exists some x which belongs to sigma star that belongs to any combination sigma star is any combination whatever sigma is defined of that okay so t equal to sx means if some string is there if some string is there let us assume you are having a b b a now if you are able to write okay if you are able to write this string this t as sx As S X, then S is a prefix. S is a prefix of T. This is a T. S is a prefix of T. If and only if there exists some X such that T equal to S X. T equal to S X. Now see, I can assume X as epsilon. X as epsilon, I can assume and X X as say A B B A. This whole thing I can assume as x. This whole thing. So a s is your now epsilon is your prefix. Okay, because when you contact in it, this is x dot a b b a. You are always going to get a b b a. So whenever we contact in it, anything with epsilon, we are going to get this that string only. Okay. So epsilon dot a b b a is going to give a b b a. dot epsilon is also going to give a a b b a so this is same okay <clears throat> now you can take now you take s as a then x will be a b b a a sorry b b a b b a so t is going to s x t is going to s x yeah again you can take s as this X as this, then S as this, X as this, and one thing you can assume S as everything. You can assume S as the string only. S as A B B A, and X as epsilon, and you are writing T equal to S X. Okay. See, every time I am taking X from the beginning. First, I have taken S as epsilon, then A, then A B, then A B B, then A B B A. Okay, and when I am taking a b b a, then x I am assuming as epsilon. So in this way you can do. So the prefix of a b b a are epsilon, a a b a b b a b b a. So all these strings that are coming in the beginning. And why epsilon? Because I can write t this string as s x when I will uh, when epsilon is this when s is epsilon. I will take x as this string only. Okay, and why this whole string? That time I will assume S as this, and here I will assume S as A B B A, and X as epsilon. So you have to break the string into S X, and the beginning part is going to be your prefix. As the name is saying prefix, so this is the prefix. Now S is a proper prefix of T if and only if S is a prefix of T, and S not equal to T, and S not equal to epsilon. Means in proper prefix. Only if seller and same string is not a. See, the example, the proper prefix of a b b are a a b a b b. Except if seller and except a b b a, everything is a proper prefix. And that proper prefix is even called as non non prime prefix. The proper prefix is even called. See, this this little little term is also very much important. Sometimes you get. Use non-prime prefix. They will ask what are the non-prime. And if someone don't know that that proper prefix is called as non-prime non-prime prefix, he will miss he or she will miss that. Okay. So even little little things is very important in game. So proper prefix is also called as non-prime prefix. So we have seen. So we can what we can conclude that every string except and epsilon is a prefix of every string. So always be epsilon. and same string is going to be prefix of every string